In Judaism, traditions around death have two purposes, to comfort the living and to show respect for the dead. This respect starts well before the funeral, at the moment of death. It is traditional to never leave a body alone. This is called Shmira, guarding the body. Volunteers from the community or people paid by the funeral home sit in a room next to where the deceased rests and traditionally recite Tehillim psalms or study other texts. In the old days, Shmira was meant to physically protect the body. Doing Shmira today is a way to set aside time to remember the person without the distractions of work, children, or anything else. Tahara, the ritual purification of the body, is done by the Hevra Kadisha, a burial society found in many communities. They come together to recite the prayers and perform the following acts. First, they physically wash the body. Second, there's a spiritual cleansing. Some dunk the body in a mikvah, while others will pour water on the body. In the final stage, the Hevra Kadisha dresses the body in garments similar to what ancient high priests wore. They are dressing the person to go before God. Many people doing Tahara for the first time go into the room thinking, I'm going to wash a dead body, and it's going to be a challenging experience. They come out thinking, wow, I understand what death is now. I've washed a body. When I lifted up her arm and then let it go, it just fell back down. I've held her. I've turned her. For so many, it becomes a spiritual experience to leave the Tahara room and see the world completely differently and know what it means to be alive. It is a powerful thing for those who do this holy work. It is traditional not to talk about the Tahara with the family, but the liturgy and traditions create a bond, a strong tie that builds community. It goes beyond how the water is poured, how the psalms are said. It speaks to how we respect the deceased, comfort the living, and at the same time experience the effects of this spiritual and life-changing act. To learn about the traditions at a Jewish funeral, Continue on to the next part of this series.